talking about Eric the Electric. Ugh. I was being electric. <laughs> <laughs> Electric is. He is a very popular YouTuber who is famous for his massive big calorie eating challenges and big calorie cheat days. And recently he did a video. I ate 10,000 calories and I burned 10,000 calories. And I'm gonna tell you what my real opinion is of Eric and I've been waiting years to tell you. First of all, Eric is really famous for how much food he can eat. And he gets a lot of love for it, but he also gets a lot of flack for it. 10,000 calories, eating that and burning that, takes a ton of effort to do. Most people, they're watching, they're like, oh, that's so cool, I wanna do that. What you don't realize is Eric bikes hours a day. Eric works out harder than last time every single day. In order to eat as much food as he eats and to stay the size and as his healthy shape, fit shape that he's in, he has to work out really hard and eat very specific the rest of the time. Eric, what people don't realize is, yes, he talks about his workouts and his biking and everything, but a lot of people, I don't think it sinks in that Eric is an elite athlete. He works out, he's training for a triathlon right now. He bikes, he runs, he's doing all this exercise every day, all day. Oh yeah, he's also, we forgot to mention, he's also like an incredibly strong power lifter too. Yes, he is. And so if you're watching the video and you're like, oh, that's so cool, I'm gonna watch this video, I'm gonna be able to do that, or you're watching and you're like, that's so disgusting, I don't know how he does that. Do you know, we are so impressed with the effort that it takes to be able to eat that much, to burn it off. No one can do that. That is a very rare specimen that can do something yeah, like that. Yeah, you, you guys watching this, your dad can't do what Eric does. Your uncle, no. nobody on your street, nobody in your city. We have lost a ton of weight and we're in pretty good shape and we work out really intense and I, we couldn't keep up with Eric. Eric would blow us away in any exercise. So um, right now, the world that we live in, everybody's told that they're a special person. They can do anything they want. And so what happens is people then go on YouTube and they watch all these special people doing special things. And they think they can do it too. They also think that they can rudely comment underneath all of their videos and say, oh, that's gross, I don't know why you do that. And like put the person down, not realizing how rare and special the things are that a lot of these popular YouTubers are doing out there. Most people could never hack it, could never do what they do, including us. The other thing I wanna say is that Eric also is one of the very rare people that talks about his past struggles with food. Just like Kyle and I are very open and honest about our past struggles with food. Now, struggles with food, I can't say the real word. You guys know what I'm talking about. YouTube doesn't let me say the word <laughs> or the video will never be seen. So, struggles with food. Eric's one of the very rare popular YouTubers that talks about his struggles with food. and. Kyle and I are also very open and honest about that, and we respect Eric for sharing that part of his life, which he doesn't have to. Yeah, out of all the athleticism that we respect and his ability to eat so much, the thing we most respect about Eric is his open and honest approach to his past struggles and uh, his past struggles with food. He also says, don't eat like me. I don't recommend you do this. How do we know that it takes a lot of effort to eat and burn off all those calories, and we know about past struggles with food. How do we know about the calories and the eating? Because, for those of you that don't know, for five years, Sassy Kyle and I 
have been having cheat days once a week. We have lost 130 pounds each. Once we lost the weight, we knew that we needed to give ourselves a cheat day for a little while. We always knew that there'd be a day where we would probably not need them anymore. However, denying ourselves food and feeling guilty for so long about eating treats, we knew we needed to give ourselves a day. So one day a week for five years, we ate a cheat day as much as we wanted until satisfied. And the rest of the week we ate very clean. In order to have a cheat day, I had to do fasted cardio for 45 minutes every single day. I also did five to six days of weight training on top of that. And two for the two days after the cheat day, I ate 11 to 1200 calories. That was it. Very little carbs, very low calorie. And the rest of the week, up until cheat day, I only ate 13, 1400 calories. I worked my butt off. I trained really hard. I did cardio really hard. And it took me quite a few days, almost a full week to recover from my cheat day, which was only about probably 5,000 calories. Nothing close we, to what Eric does. We never even got close to 10,000 calories and people have asked us to do that challenge. We don't want to. No. <laughs> That's incredibly difficult to recover. A week yes. to recover oh. from like 4,000 extra calories, not 10,000. And also, we, we were doing it because we wanted to enjoy our food. We had gone through years of feeling really bad about eating treats, about not allowing ourselves to eat certain foods, putting ourselves down constantly. There were years and years that we didn't eat any treats and we needed to get that out of our system. So that was a day that we wanted to enjoy. We didn't purposely try to hit a certain amount of calories on that day. We just ate what we wanted until we were satisfied. Just doing that was difficult for us to burn off and to recover from. So somebody that's setting a huge goal like that, like Eric, that's amazing. The fact that he can be as fit and healthy as he is, that he can work, eat all that food and burn it off and do it so intensely, that's incredible. We have a high amount of respect for him for that. I want to add this in. We recently decided that we, we don't need cheat days anymore. We were kind of thinking, talking about it and we were like, oh, maybe we should have never done them, you know? But going from struggling with food, gaining a ton of weight, losing all the weight, and not allowing ourselves to eat the way we wanted, we needed, we realized those cheat days for those five years were necessary to get us to the place where we are now, where we can eat more during the week, we can train, we can do cardio, we don't have to do as much intense fasted cardio like we used to. We allow ourselves treats every day now, like fat-free popcorn and protein ice cream, and we love our food and we actually get to eat a lot more. We could have never got to this point and we're starting to lean out and really look the best that we ever could. But we couldn't have got here if we didn't give ourselves those cheat days. We needed to l allow the food in our life and not feel guilty anymore. We needed to stop labeling food and realize it's okay to give yourself treats. We had to get out. I had denied myself years of, not, of eating cereal. So every cheat day for five years, I ate cereal. And that's okay. I needed to do that to get here. However, we can relate to Eric in the struggles with food and the eating a ton of calories and burning it off. We can also relate. There's Eric gets a lot of love, but he also gets a lot of like rude, mean comments, putting him down, trashing him about what he does. On our cheat day videos, we got a lot of love, but we also got a lot of 
The same things that Eric got. People trashing us, putting us down, saying we hope you get fat again. If we even eat or mention McDonald's or mention a diet pop, now we get attacked for the chemicals and all, all that other stuff. And for the processed food and like, there were people saying, oh, I can't even watch your cheat days. It triggers me and sets me off for a whole week. Trying to make us feel guilty for our cheat days. So we understand that it was important for us to do it even when people were saying, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't eat that way, that's disgusting, that's not healthy. Well, for us, it was. This is Eric's job. Eric loves his job and he does it well and he does it better than most of the people out there can do it. And we really like, what we really like about Eric too is he never recommends that you eat like him. Yes. So a lot of people will ask us in their first week of dieting, when's my first cheat day? When's my first cheat day? We didn't have one for a couple of years because we weren't ready to handle that. We lost all of our weight first. Then we didn't go right to a cheat day. We went to a cheat meal. Then, when we were ready, when we could handle it, then we went to a full cheat day. It takes mental and physical stamina to be able to do that. A lot of people will say, we're doing, we tried a cheat day and it sets us off for the whole week. Just watching a cheat day triggers me. We got a ton of comments like that. You have to mentally be prepared to be able to eat the food you want in the amount you want and not let it trigger you. The thing with us and with Eric is we can eat that, we could eat that way and go right back on our normal meal plan the next day. Most people cannot do that. So like Eric, we never recommended that people do a cheat day. We always said we don't recommend you do this because you have to be able to keep food in your house. You have to be able to not feel guilty about eating and you have to be able to get back on track and you have to work hard in the gym, in your cardio. You have, you have to work really hard to burn off a cheat day and you have to be mentally prepared for it too. So Eric, Eric has to be mentally and physically prepared. He can do it. He can burn it off. He can handle it. That is incredible. Props to Eric, the electric. <laughs> <laughs> for doing that. That's so not funny at all. <laughs> Eric's gonna watch this video and love it and he's gonna comment down below, I love the electric part. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so I wanna end off with a fact just to show you how incredible this video is that Eric did. Okay, a chocolate glazed donut. One. One chocolate glazed donut is about 260 calories. So get that in your head. One donut, 260 calories, not 2,000, 200. He's eating 10,000 calories in one day. You wanna know how long it takes to burn that off? One donut. One donut, 260 calories, 57 minutes of walking, 31 minutes of biking, 23 minutes of jogging, 17 minutes of swimming. He's eating 10,000 and burning 10,000. That's crazy! That's amazing! Give him a thumbs up, watch his video! That's that's the greatest thing in the world! <laughs> Thank you for watching! Do the stuff! Like the bells! Add to Colette's on Instagram! And now we rock it! <laughs> Thanks for watching! You all you burned off one bite of a donut though. I did! <laughs> You only have to frog it for 12 more hours. Let's go. <laughs> Bye guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.